Hello everyone, you are back again with some lessons with teacher Adri. We are doing lesson 10 in week 5. In this lesson, we will be doing matching items for English. We will order a story so that we can read it again in maths. And then for life skills, we are doing sight. Let's match items. Ma'am's going to give you a few items that match by each other. You need to choose the correct one. A toothbrush. Who do you think the toothbrush matches with? Yes, the toothpaste. Because without the toothpaste, we cannot brush our teeth. Next, we have a pair of shoes. Who do you think they match with? Yes, they match with the pair of socks because without socks on our feet, we can get blisters. And lastly, we have a plate for our food to go on. What do you think that matches with? Yes, knife and fork so that we are able to eat our food properly. Let's match some more items. First, we have a pencil. Who do you think it matches with? Yes, the paper so that we can write on it. Now we have a desk that you sit at. What do you think it matches with? Yes, the chairs that we can sit at our desks. Now a bag. Who does that match with? Yes, the books because we have to put our books and everything we have in our school bags. Let's do story time. Let's quickly look at these pictures. It's a boy playing outside. And then there's someone putting on some shoes. He's asleep in bed, eating breakfast with some coffee, brushing his teeth, and waking up in the morning. Now, if you look at these pictures, what do you think of? Yes. You think of your daily routine, which is the way we do things every day, a sequence of actions, like eating your breakfast every morning, going to school every day, and going to bed at night. Now let's quickly put these stories in order. What do you think is going to come first? Yes, you are going to wake up in the morning first, and then... Yes, you are going to put on some clothes for the day. And after clothes, we are going to eat some breakfast with mommy and daddy. And after breakfast, you are going to clean your teeth. So we're going to go brush our teeth. And after that, we'll go to school or play outside. And then last, we go back to bed for the next day. Now let's count how many blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six story blocks that we need to put in order for us to be able to read the story. Can you remember what came first in your story? Let's see. Number one, waking up in the morning. Number two, putting on some clothes for school or the day. Number three, going to breakfast number four we will brush our teeth number five go to school or play outside and number six we will go back to bed so that we can have another day the next day well done on doing your story now let's do what is sight Sight is when you are able to see things around you. What do we use to see? We use our eyes to see everything around us. How can we keep our eyes safe? Firstly, do not look into the sun. The sun can badly hurt your eyes. If you feel like you can't see properly or your sight is blurry, you have to tell mommy and dad to wear glasses. Then, eat all your healthy foods so that you can get vitamins to help your eyes. 
And lastly, do not stare at computer or TV screens as they hurt your eyes. That is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found some nice tips. See you guys next time.